<laughs> there's no words, are there? There's, there's nothing to say. Josh said rolling. We just went. Uh, mate, I, I don't know what questions to ask me. I have nothing. Uh, to you're say. just gonna have to speak. I, I can't <laughs> ask you anything. I think the first thing, honestly, is. In a way, I wish they'd won it because now every single person coming out of the stadium is pissed off. At least if they've won it, people would be happy. Some people. Oh, like but everyone's pissed off because the United fans are like, what yeah, was that? All, all of us, and like, obviously all yeah. of us are fuming because we, we were shit and didn't deserve it and have somehow messed up a 3 0 lead after, with what, 20 minutes to go. And for them, uh, they've come from nothing. It would have been, at least for some, for them, it would have been nice to get something out of the game. <laughs> come on, come on. Come say hello. You right? Yeah? You brought your good luck because we needed it today, didn't we? We weren't very good, was it, little man? No. What no? was we? Shite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we was, mate. We was, mate. And we nearly threw it away, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah? But can we beat Man City in the final? I don't know. <laughs> what, what do we think of City? Shite. <laughs> Hate him. So, mate, we, don't, don't we all, mate? But we, I thought, mate, I thought we were playing against City today. They got the same blue one as them. They, I thought we were playing against City then. But right. But at least Hoyland, look, look, you got his scarf and he got the winning pen. So at least that's a good thing, right? Yeah. yeah? Listen, safe travels, little man. Good to see you. Top Thanks for bringing him over, mate. Nice one. United view. Yeah, nice one. Nice one. Um, I, listen, even little lad said, shite, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's bad. I think this is, honestly, I've, there's, there's a lot of things that surprised me today, and one of them being the amount of booze that Rashford got. I've never seen United fans... Oh, they turned on him. Fans, I've oh, heard, that's big it, time, big time. I've never seen the fan base turn on a player like that. Even like Fellaini, you used to get booed by little sections, little pockets. Pogba had people sort of screaming at him, but again, it was little pockets. Sometimes the pockets got a bit bigger, but that was pretty much the whole, whole United end, unanimous, booing him. Because, in fairness, from what people saw, not a lot of effort, not a lot of end product, nothing good, and as soon as we started to look in trouble, ah, Mohammed's gone and he get off the pitch. It was, you talk about mentality and bottle and senior players, there's nothing. And he's, he's not a kid anymore, he's a senior player now. That's embarrassing. He wasn't the only one by any means. No. Plenty of other players that need ripping into because they were useless. But for him, I think he's done at United now, and he has to be. Get him gone in the summer. Really? Yeah, hundred percent. No way back. No, I, and I don't want to. I don't want to see him given a chance either at this point. Now he's had enough chances. Just get him gone. Let him go somewhere where he can decide if he wants to get his act together and sort himself out, or he can just go and wither away like so many other players have done when they've left United. I don't think there's any way back from here now. I want to just give the give the chance to somebody else who deserves it, and we'll give everything for the club when they get the chance. After a game like that, with the circumstances, 3 0 up, 15 minutes to go. So, you know, well coached, professional job, good, no injuries, fine, let's, let's get out, let's go home. Till then, what happened? How much trouble does that put Ten Hagen? Look, I think he's in trouble because this isn't the first time this has happened. It's happened far too many times this season. And look, I've been a big defender of him, but it's not good enough. However, I do have to say today, for any manager, no matter who you are, if you get to 70 minutes, you've got a game in three days, your players are all knackered, as is pretty much every other club. Taking players off because you've got a game in three days makes sense. Taking off the players you're going to need, nothing wrong with that. 3-0 up yeah. against championship and, opposition. And listen, he's not brought on kids. He's not brought on Harry Amas and like, the 18-year-old centre-back that's on the bench. He's brought on senior players. So it's not like it's kids that have thrown it away. It's senior players playing for Man United. If you're good enough to be a senior player at this level, you should be able to see out a game against a team from the league below at 3 0 up. It's embarrassing. Anthony, in particular, was absolutely horrendous. It was every single time he got the ball. It, to be honest, it was cowardly what he was doing. Every single time his first touch was backwards. You're a winger, beat a man, or even, even if you don't want to beat him, take your first touch forward, be positive, because then the defender's going backwards. Give you an extra couple of seconds. Team, get up the pitch two yards. If you take it backwards every time with your first touch, defence step up, everyone squeezes out, and all of a sudden things start to look a little bit more ropey than they need to be. It's little bit that kill us and Hoyland as well it was really poor today I yeah. thought I thought in all honesty 
People might think this is ridiculous, but you take someone like Chris Wood, he'd do a miles better job than Hoyland did today. <laughs> Chris, look, Hoyland's not, I'm not saying he's a bad player or he hasn't got potential. Chris Wood. Chris Wood would hold the ball up. He'd at least win some balls he in the channels, the ball knock the ball on forwards for other people. Hoyland basically lost everything in the air, and for until the Coventry centre-backs got tired, he had nothing on the ground either. His first touch was bouncing off him. He wasn't linking with United players. It was really bad. Weghorst was better. Chris Wood would have done a better job than Hoyland today. Yes, he's got potential, but the truth is he's not good enough he's to be a centre forward. Yeah, no. But again, that's indicative of Man United buy a kid for seventy odd million who's not ready yeah. and with no support and hang him out to dry. And and I think that's um that's that for him, that's that's sort of where he's at. It's not his fault. But you're right, he does have limitations in the game. However, he had the bottle and the nerve to actually score the winning penalty in the end. Yeah. No, so, like, yeah, we'll back him for that. I respect him for that. It's not his fault he's under this no, pressure. No, but I hear what you're saying with the but, analysis. Yeah, it's a difficult situation. Um, to finish off, um, is, is, it, is, it, is, that, is, that, is this project done? Like this, you know, Ten Hag and trying to survive it and any other... Is that over now then? Look, or? for me personally, I want to see him given another season. Reason being, I think this season it's been an absolute shit show for him start to finish. No defending it whatsoever. However, the injury stuff I don't think it's exclusively on the manager for training there's all this nonsense of people saying it's his training sessions no one watches his training sessions for me I think it's going to be a combination of the training sessions combination of the medical team bringing players back from injury too early and by the way the doctor we brought in from Arsenal has had previous for doing this before as well mm. but also the bit people aren't looking at is the strength and conditioning side they have not done their job properly the players are not conditioned to run for the amount of time they need down, to yeah. muscle injuries they're clearly not getting the gym work right in terms of injury prevention so it's a shit show from Mm. From bottom, from top to bottom, Ineos need to sort that stuff out first. And I think it was always going to be a case of getting from a low intensity team to a high intensity team. You're going to have a season of it being shit. Mm. Whether it's Ten Hag or not next season, we've had to go through the pain. I hope it is because I think he can do better. But if it's like it is now, we are in so much trouble. The problem is there's no better managers available at this moment in time that I can see. Nagel, Nagelsmann looks like he's going to Bayern. No, no, I don't he's, see staying, he's, staying at, he's staying at Germany. He signed a new deal. Sorry, yes, oh, yeah. staying at Germany. There doesn't look like there's anybody else that's able to come in and do a better job so I think you need to keep him for now but it's important to ship out 9, 10, 11 players and get a whole new core of the squad in. If you don't do that it doesn't matter what manager we've got we're in big trouble.